Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. We're here in the FHD server, and in the last video we started work on the Oasis project, and unfortunately we ran out of stone in that one, so we kind of come to a stop, we can't do much more. Um, but I've been speaking to a few people on the server, and I may have discovered where we can get some more. Okay, so the first suggestion was our very own storeroom, and it looks like we've got uh, a couple of chests here of stone, which is going to come in very handy, but also we've got some chests of dirt as well, just a couple there. So that's a good start. I think we'll start taking them over to the desert and see what we can get up with. And then Cahill reminded me that he's been working on this massive, massive slime farm. And a byproduct of this is a whole bunch of spare materials which he doesn't need. So we've come to an agreement. Uh, he's going to provide me five shulker boxes of dirt and five shulker boxes of stone uh, in exchange for, well, the shulker boxes and 32 diamonds. And I think that's pretty fair. So let's do that. While I was waiting for him, I did wandered down there and accidentally got attacked by a few slimes. So as you can see, I've got a, I've got a few slime balls in my inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. That will help a lot. Right, well, that should keep us busy for a little while. We've got one, two, three, and a little bit extra double chest worth of dirt. And one, two, three, and almost four double chests of stone. So, yes, um... I think that should last us probably until the end of this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to do while we're over here is actually start work on a little side project, uh, an XP farm. Uh, it's become a bit of a trek trying to keep going back and forth to the XP farm every time my gear breaks down and needs to be repaired. So I decided to do something over here. And that's going to involve cactus because, I mean, there's loads around, so it's easy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I actually started digging out a tiny little space down here uh, where I'm going to start putting the farm. I haven't decided exactly how much space it's going to take up, but um, I'm going to obviously get the get a uh, cactus farm going in there, uh, go into some smelters, and um, obviously store the XP in an XP bank. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is clear out a big space, which is done. Um, we've allocated some space here with the sandstone blocks. That's basically where the cacti are all going to sit. So each of those will have a cacti, will have a sand block on top and then a cacti on top of that. And that's done too. I've always gone ahead and added some slabs here so that when the cactus grow, uh, they'll obviously get in contact with that break and then they'll fall to the ground. Now, I'm not going to pretend that this is completely lossless because some of the Obviously, some of the cacti will fall into here and not be picked up and also fall back on the cactus and break. But that's that working. Now we need to start find a way to get this collected. Okay, so collection is now in place. We have water coming all the way from the far corners, coming down lower and lower and lower, lower until it gets to these hoppers. And if we just find a way up here, the hoppers lead down... Here, I bang my head all the time, I need to fix that. And we have 34 cactus in the farm already. So that's going pretty quick. Um, so that's a bit sorted. The next thing we need to do is actually work on what happens once it's collected. Okay, and to do that, we've made a few changes. So the hoppers now come along in this direction and go all the way across to the end and feed into these furnaces. And each of these furnaces are going to start slowly fill up with cactus. So this one's already full and we've got the hopper above, it's filling up slowly. Now these aren't, um, there's nothing in, in place to actually make these fill up in any fair order. They'll just do it from the first one going along. Um, but that's fine because that's, that's absolutely fine to how we're going to do it. But this isn't working. As you can see, the cactus in there, but it is not cooking because we have no fuel. So to get fuel, I've contacted one of the fellow Frost Masons, Lord Master Trot, who's on the server at the moment, and he's come on to give us a hand. Oh, hello there, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Lord Master Trot. Uh, you brought someone to give us a hand. Yes, I hope this helps. I'm sure it will. What we got? Uh, bamboo. Excellent. So, lots and lots of bamboo. It looks like we're going to be making a bamboo farm. Um, I think in that sort of direction, um, just because space, uh, we'll obviously be using that way. Uh, so, yeah, if we start digging out some space over there, we can start making a bamboo farm and that can fuel all of these. Hey, Geeky, you might want to put some after sun on. <laughs> yes, gentle. I've been um, I've been out in the sun for a while. It's, uh, it's pretty bad, but... Uh, it's yeah. starting to heal. Yeah, I mean, I can see your bones. My bones? <laughs> yeah, you've, you've been burnt right through. No skin left. Uh-oh. Well, at least I'm down here at the moment. It should be fine. And while we've been working down there, there's been a bit of a development up here. As you can see, the Tree of Life has done its thing, and it's started to spread life around the desert. Uh, so we've got some more grass and some more stone all over the place. So if we just have a quick look at the map, it's just somehow, I don't know, but it's doing it on its own. Uh, but this bottom map is obviously spreading out much, much further than the top map. You can just see how 
the desert is slowly starting to take shape. It's starting to turn green. And as I said before, um, obviously the, the sand will turn to stone. Uh, then a layer of uh, dirt and grass will then go on top of that. And then trees will start forming on top of that. So we're going to see this development come quite quickly. And yeah, like I say, this is just magic. It's all done by the tree and nothing else. And I've just been digging up here and I've just found this. This cave that was always here and it's perfectly square and it aligns perfectly with the cactus farm. So that seems to me like the perfect place to put a bamboo farm. And there we have it. The That was perfect timing. Uh, the bamboo farm is now in place. So the fairly standard bamboo farm. I think you've all seen this before, but you've got the bamboo on the dirt. You've got the piston one block above it and then you've got the observer one block above that. Uh, once, the once the bamboo reaches the observer, the observer recognises it, sends a redstone signal, moves the pistons and then they all fall down and come down here like we just saw brilliant timing um again this isn't a perfect one there are going to be some loss because they will sit like that they will sit on the edge but that honestly doesn't bother me um we could look at making a lossless one this is fine this will do the job and it should do fine so what i need to do perfect timing uh, i need to get these to funnel with uh, or down here which shouldn't be too difficult i think i'm going to do water elevator or water stream Till we get close to it and then throw them in a hopper just to do the rest and then i need to make this all look a bit more beautiful so the water stream now comes all the way down here uh flows around there trying to show you how, under here uh to this hopper here which then obviously feeds into this row of hoppers that obviously go into the furnaces so as you can see well that's full we've actually got some already built down here 23 um we have a whole bunch of bamboo so i can show you uh Wings are playing weird. Uh, right, I can show you what's going on. So some bamboo's going down there. Let's just throw all these out as well because this is the stuff we didn't use before. And when we get down there, the furnace should be lit. Yep, so that is now smelting. Perfect. So we've got bamboo coming in the bottom, cactus coming in the top. That does a job. And let's say that goes into there. Uh, what we'll then need to do is funnel all of these off into some chests somewhere so we can store all the cactus. And then we'll need to put some redstone in to lock these hoppers so we can actually turn it on and off as and when we choose to. Uh, so that's the next thing. And then as I say, just make it all pretty because um, it's not the most attractive at the moment. And the simple way to lock the hoppers are just... Uh, apply some redstone so i've got a lever here with redstone going all the way along uh, at the moment if you look at this uh, that disappears straight out so that's good but if i flick this give it power the next one will stay in here there we go okay so what i want to do now is i've got my froze axe i'm going to pop that there and if i have that in my hand when i take out this item in theory this has been storing the xp from everything that's been going in so far so i should if we look down here we should see some levels and hopefully repair the tool a little bit it's not gonna be brilliant not brilliant at all um but you know it's a start now this is going to run all the time and we've got various various things down here so this is starting to fill up now that's that's how much experience we've got not a lot but it will it will do the job and it will start repairing my tools while we're we're working out here so yeah that's um that's pretty good doesn't look very nice but it does a job so yeah we've got obviously the furnaces we've got uh, the chests we've got the ooh, get up the stairs we've got the bamboo farm and we've got the cactus farm all close together and it's a little bit dark in here uh let's go see how the tree of life's getting on this place is looking incredible and it's spreading so so fast lord master i mean uh, the tree of life has been doing a great job out here spreading life all over the place uh we have a traveling salesman down there which we'll check out in a second but yeah this is going much much further and quicker than i thought it was ever going to do thanks to the tree of life um let's just have a look at the map what do you sell blue ice do you know who i am I'm a frost mason. I don't need to sell. I don't need to buy blue ice. The cheek. Right. He's dead. And <laughs> don't attack. Don't attack me. Good. Oh look, I've got some heads. So let's check out the map. So in theory, it should be this one. Look how grey and horrible that looks there. Better than than the sandy colour, but certainly lots of gray there if we take this off oh that is so much better already look at all the green and the brown that is coming to life anything down here 
yes, that's starting to get some brown as well. This is looking amazing. That's looking so much better than that one. And um, we've got trees coming in, obviously the big green ones. We're going to have a lot more trees as time goes on, and there's going to be some foliage on the floor. I'm thinking we're going to get some leaves and just spread around, and flowers and all sorts of stuff. But this, if you looked just here, you wouldn't know you're in a desert. And, um, I mean, the sunburn is definitely going to be improving the more forest-like this gets. Pew! Oh, set me on fire. Naughty. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, first time. <laughs> Whose idea was it to do this at night? Look at that. It is looking incredible. I can't believe how quick this project is coming together. Thanks a lot to Lord Master Trot, I mean the Tree of Life, to helping out with this. Um, but yeah, you can see here that it's definitely, definitely spreading so fast. And we actually still have materials left over, so it's not, not quite finished yet. Um, it's getting dark. Let me just, um, let me sleep. That's better. And obviously from the map, you can see that we have got a few trees around already. Um, obviously, that's not going to be good enough. They're going to be getting a lot closer together. But also, I've gone ahead and got a whole bunch of this. So what we're going to do is just start just bringing it to life, adding some grass, some flowers and... Weird. Some flowers and stuff. Uh, lots and lots more trees. That's definitely going to come. Uh, but this is going to become... A lot more lively and this is interesting so we've got the bunny rabbits now maybe someone can tell me um, do bunnies spawn in the desert or on top of sand because if it's in the desert this is going to be the only forest in the well on the map that have got these desert bunnies spawning so that's gonna be pretty cool um, so yeah this is this is really come together I mean I don't think I think you need to sort of wander around to appreciate how larger scale this actually has taken up now this is obviously just a small section of it around here but all this stone is going to be covered with uh, dirt and grass and then trees and um, we're going to be getting it a lot, a lot thicker as it goes around, uh, as in a lot thicker of trees, etc. So it should start turning into a forest very soon. Uh, we've got a bit of a water feature here just to sort of give it some life. Um, can I get up there? But obviously all up there, all around there, that's all done. And I've literally just walked around here. Just to give you an idea. You can hear all the stuff going on down there, so that's working. Um, yeah, lots of poppies, so... And those. Yeah, maybe we can do something with those later. Uh, but at the moment, I just want to plant stuff and get it all looking beautiful. That already looks like a hundred times better. And, I mean, this is literally just scratch the surface. So, I mean, I just, just put in trees everywhere. Everywhere I can think of. Pop them down and step back and... Come on, do it for me. Don't show me off. Perfect. Okay. First time. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting trees literally everywhere I can think of. Um, trying to... I, I quite like them being close together. There's no reason why we can't do that. And we'll just... Um... Well, I need to fix all that. Uh, right. Let's just pop that down there. And get rid of that. Hello, stone. Just, you saw nothing. Yeah. So just starting to put these out everywhere I can think of, trying to put them together. Now, some of these trees will need to come back down again because obviously we need the saplings, plus also we want the leaves because I'm going to put the leaves on the floor, a bit like in a jungle, um, but obviously it's a dark oak jungle, uh, so it's going to be a bit different. Uh, sorry, flower, you've gone. But yeah, life where life was once not before, so that's going to be interesting. We may need to move these because they can't be seen there, but we'll have to build a building or something for them soon. One of the things I like about dark oak trees is that they spawn naturally with these sort of overhangs here and those are ideal for placing lanterns on which gives it a sort of enchanted forest look and um yeah i really like that i think that that's that's a really cool way of lighting up the area but without sort of spamming torches everywhere so anyway we've got a lot more trees in here uh we are out of saplings now so we're gonna have to tear a few down unfortunately but that's fine uh we've updated the map as well so as you can see we've now got a massive section here which is now proper jungle so this is really starting to come together this is kind of what i had in mind but obviously on the entire map and that is so loud on the entire map so i mean you can see the difference between that one and that one already and imagine that so much bigger that's what we're going to figure out we're going to get that sorted but yeah this is looking good uh, not much to do on the surface at the moment i'm going to carry on obviously spreading everything around and then once we've got all the forest we'll probably let's say we'll take some trees down we'll use them for leaves and uh i mean I, yeah i haven't done any leaves down here but we'll get some leaves on the floor around the base of the trees we'll have some saplings obviously for the few for the new trees but then we'll look at doing some buildings here anyway let's have a look down the bottom 
So if we start here, I've gone ahead and changed the walls a little bit. So um, I've taken away all the stone and anything other than sandstone from the walls. Uh, the only thing I've left is the sandstone and obviously the sand, mainly because I couldn't be bothered to take the sand out because that was annoying. So that's a bit done. We've obviously added some stairs in here, come down here. This is um, improved now. There's not a lot in there. Yeah, so we've got a few bits. I've actually turned this off so I can actually get some XP and see how this works. It's been running for a little while. Um, not masses. It's it's not brilliant. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be. I'll be the first to admit it isn't brilliant. But it it's it's work in progress, and there's there's a lot. So we've obviously done this, and let's just pop them in there. I don't want them anymore. Um, obviously, change again. Change all the walls. So we've got um, so just sandstone and smooth sandstone, and a couple of sandstone walls just to break it up, and some lanterns instead of torches where we can. Um, we're obviously all out of stuff now. One thing I did notice. Um, we could probably do with making both the farms bigger. Um, as far as the um, cactus farm concerns, it's it works, but it doesn't send a lot of stuff. There's not it's not filling up all of those, so we need more. And for the bamboo, which we've obviously been tweaking a little bit, um, it's because we lose a lot. I think we could do with maybe having a couple more modules like this, so maybe two two more the same size that way. I don't know. I'll work that out. But because uh, the thing is. It doesn't send a lot, so one, if it's not backed up, it take the, the you'll get a little bit of bamboo, and it doesn't actually smelt the cactus fully. So we'll need sort of a way of getting more bamboo in quickly. So that's that. Um, added some glass here just to sort of break this up. I think it looks quite nice, white glass, and as I say, just more sandstone, smooth sandstone, all sorts of stuff. So it kind of looking a bit better. I'm not sure whether to do anything with the roof up there. I kind of like it as it is, but I could change blocks. Um, it's just a bit of a pain to get up there, especially with all the cactuses below. But yeah, I mean, that's something we could do. But yeah, I think we might may possibly make this bigger. I feel like the cactus is probably big enough as long as we can keep the supply of bamboo filling. But we can always push that further back and we can push that further that way. So that's, that's something to do for another day. Oh, and before anyone says, I am fully aware that you can make both of these out of zero tick farms. But I don't want to do that. I think zero ticks are massively cheating. So it just occurred to me that by doing this, we have a surplus supply of green dye and nothing to do with it. So in that sense, I've decided to change the glass. Uh, green, what do you think? Uh, I still have the white glass. If you think that looks better, I'll change it back. But, you know, it gives us something to do with the dye. So our food supply seems to be running quite low, so I've come back over to the main Frost Mason base just to see if we can get some more. And you may not want to watch this next part. Okay, so that should keep us going for a little while. We've got one, two, three, four, five full stacks of cooked chicken and a little bit extra. Got two full stacks of steaks. We've got some carrots because you know what, it's a, what there is a lot of in the desert? Rabbits and rabbits like carrots. We've also got a couple of random seeds so we can start planting some stuff and see what happens and some potatoes. And I noticed that we've got loads of honeycomb blocks ready here so if we can take a few because I think that'll actually look really well with the sandstone. So um, we'll see if we can put something together with that. So I've started making this little garden here. Now obviously it's not, um, none of this area is finished. We can obviously can be putting more grass around there and trees etc. But I uh, just wanted to do it while there's an open space. So we've added some water under there just to sort of keep it going. I may actually go and uh, put some, because obviously it's, uh, it's still grass there might actually change that to other materials uh, but we've got some stuff growing we've got some carrots over here and we've got some sugar cane over there so we should soon be able to get a supp decent supply of carrots going so we can start breeding rabbits uh, because I've never actually bred rabbits before so that'd be interesting and be fun to do uh, but yeah that's uh, that's certainly coming on but unfortunately that's all we've got time for today so if you enjoyed the video please give a big like and a thumbs up if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and obviously tell your friends about it too because if you like it it's a good chance they will too but as always I've been Siki here mate you've been awesome thanks for watching goodbye